Hi, this is Greg Koopman. Today I'm going to talk to you about a problem that occurred to me and a fellow associate of mine as we were trying to work out a very, very simple problem. But it didn't seem so simple at the time. So I tried to repeat the problem, but I believe that uh, either I just did something I didn't recognize or there's a bug at, at initially in the program in talent, but I'm not sure at this point. But just in case this ever happens to you, I have a couple workarounds and you need to know that it, it should work properly. Okay, so follow through with this. Basically, this is about quoted strings in delimited files and bringing those quoted strings into your database uh, without the quotes. Okay, very simple, very simple. Okay, so if you ever see this happen to you, you'll know. Okay, at least you'll know where to go to to figure it out. So first of all, what we're going to do is go into, I have this package, right? I have a connection, I have a closed connection, and I have a simple delimited file that goes into a SQL Server table, okay? There's three columns in this table, in this delimited file. It's located at this position, D file, student list. There's only three different columns with, um, with first name, last name, and state, okay? It has a field separated with a a pipe sound, a pipe, okay? So let's take a look at that file. Okay, so here's the file. As you see, there's first name, last name, state, okay? Three different rows, very simple, with quotes around the text, okay? With a separator, uh, field separator of a pipe. Okay, that's all I'm bringing in. So I've defined it down here. So here's the, the file. Here's a separator, row, CSV options. I'm going to leave it blank. And when I run this, and then I also have a table here called student that I'm bringing it into from a Microsoft SQL Server. I'll show you that table now. So here's that table, student, columns. You see the columns. Run the query. I have nothing in it at this point. Okay. So we're going to go back to Talon and run the job. I run the job. It runs and finishes. As you can see up here, three rows were transferred. Okay, no errors. We will go back to SQL Server and we'll run the select. Now, as you notice in my results set, I have the quoted, the double quotes have come in. All right. Okay, so we don't want that. We want just the text, not the double quotes around it. Okay, so now let's go back to our package and let's correct this problem. So we go to component. And we go to T file input delimited. And we come back in here and we go to CV, CSV options. Now CSV options, we have the double quotes here. And this should this should work, right? So we go ahead and we run it again with this checked. I run. We go back to SQL Server. We look at the table, we rerun the table, and now our three new additions are all without double quotes. Okay, so very simple, very straightforward. Okay, ironically, incredibly, me and my associate did all this and we kept on getting double quotes around our string. Now, we worked this problem, and both of us are very experienced. Not that we can't make mistakes, but for some reason, this thing was not coming in. It was still coming with the double quotes, as we believe, even when that was checked. Okay? And even when I was practicing this before doing this video, I did. I believe I did the same thing. I had it checked, and, I, and it kept on bringing in the double quotes in. So, what I did, when let's assume that was correct, that there was some sort of bug, and it wasn't taking actively working properly here. Uh, even though I had all the settings correct. So what I did was was that I used an escape character here. Okay, and once I use this escape character, then the double quotes inside this component here in the text enclosure, instead of the default, 
it began to work again. Or not again, it began to work, period. It hadn't worked before. So let's just run it with that because it's basically the same thing, I believe. So I'm just going to run it. So before we had six rows, now we should have nine rows. So we'll come back over to SQL Server. I rerun it. And there are also no quotes around them. Okay, so what have we learned here? Okay, well, we learned, the, if anything from this, you've learned that when you're doing the delimited uh, file, okay, and you go into quote here, and if you have double quotes, okay, you need to check this box, okay, this check box. And by default, that's going to give you this, okay? And hopefully, this works for you, okay? For some reason, I believe it did not work for me it, it, under some sort of condition, and uh, and I finally got it to work by doing by getting rid of that and putting the escape uh, symbol here with a quote. Okay, so in case it doesn't work for you, use that, and and maybe everything will flip and it will work. So that's what this video is about. I'm sorry if I if I find it again. I'm going to go ahead and record it or try to understand it and, and bring it back into this video. But this video is what it is. Possibly I could have been it could have been set to double all the three quotes correctly, and I had just went in here and unchecked this and then checked it, checked it, said okay that looks good, and unchecked it, and then my problem came back. I can't imagine I did that that many times, but you never know. Okay, thank you for listening to this video, and I hope if you have this problem uh, that it helps you. And uh, please let me know if you see that weird thing that I believe I saw uh, that I can't repeat here um, uh, down below. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a good day.